In an era where the boundaries of aerospace technology are being pushed to their limits, two groundbreaking developments are set to revolutionize the future of hypersonic flight and warfare. Lockheed Martin's SR-72, a successor to the iconic SR-71 Blackbird, and the U.S. Air Force's AGM-100 and 83 hypersonic missile are poised to redefine the landscape of global military capabilities by 2025 and beyond. To fully appreciate the significance of these advancements, we must first understand the legacy that precedes them. The SR-71 Blackbird, an aviation marvel of its time, pushed the boundaries of speed and altitude, setting records that remained unbroken for decades. Developed in the 1960s by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Division, the SR-71 served as a high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft, capable of flying at speeds over Mach 3 and at altitudes of 85,000 feet. Its unique design, advanced materials, and powerful engines made it an icon of Cold War-era aviation and a symbol of American technological prowess. The SR-71's success laid the foundation for the development of even more advanced aircraft and weapons systems, paving the way for the hypersonic revolution that we are witnessing today. As the world's major powers engage in a new arms race, the pursuit of hypersonic technology has become a top priority, with the United States leading the charge. Enter the SR-72, Lockheed Martin's bold vision for the future of hypersonic flight. Developed by the same Skunk Works team that created the SR-71, the SR-72 is envisioned as an unmanned hypersonic reconnaissance and strike aircraft. With a projected speed of Mach 6, or approximately 4,600 miles per hour, this marvel of engineering will possess the ability to traverse continents in a matter of hours, gathering critical intelligence and delivering precision strikes with unprecedented speed and agility. The SR-72's unmatched speed and agility will enable it to penetrate even the most heavily defended airspace, providing real-time intelligence and delivering surgical strikes with pinpoint accuracy. Its advanced stealth capabilities and high-altitude performance will render it virtually undetectable, allowing it to operate with impunity in hostile environments. Moreover, the SR-72's autonomous capabilities will enable it to perform complex missions with minimal human intervention, reducing the risk to personnel and increasing operational flexibility. To achieve these extraordinary capabilities, Lockheed Martin is pushing the boundaries of materials science and propulsion technology. The SR-72 will be constructed using advanced composites and alloys that can withstand the extreme temperatures and pressures associated with hypersonic flight. These materials, including titanium aluminide, ceramic matrix composites, and carbon-carbon, are being engineered to provide exceptional strength, durability, and thermal resistance, enabling the aircraft to maintain its structural integrity and performance even under the most extreme conditions. The SR-72's propulsion system is perhaps the most significant technological hurdle that Lockheed Martin must overcome. To achieve hypersonic speeds, the aircraft will likely combine traditional turbine engines with cutting-edge scramjet technology. Scramjets, or supersonic combustion ramjets, are a type of jet engine that can operate efficiently at hypersonic speeds using the high-speed airflow to compress and combust fuel. However, scramjets are notoriously difficult to design and operate, requiring precise control over fuel injection, combustion, and thrust vectoring. In addition to its speed and stealth, the SR-72 will be equipped with a suite of advanced sensors and communication systems, enabling it to gather and transmit vast amounts of intelligence data in real time. These systems will include high-resolution cameras, synthetic aperture radar, and advanced electronic intelligence gathering capabilities, allowing the aircraft to provide unprecedented situational awareness and intelligence collection in contested environments. 
While the SR-72 represents a leap forward in reconnaissance and strike capabilities, the U.S. Air Force's AGM-183 hypersonic missile is set to redefine the landscape of precision strike warfare. Developed as part of the Air Force's broader hypersonic weapons program, the AGM-183 ARW is designed to provide a rapid response capability against time-critical, high-value targets. Capable of reaching speeds in excess of Mach 5, or approximately 3,800 miles per hour, the AGM-183 will be able to strike targets at ranges of over 1,000 miles with pinpoint accuracy. Its hypersonic speed and advanced maneuvering capabilities will make it virtually impossible to intercept using existing missile defense systems, providing the U.S. military with a significant strategic advantage. Moreover, the missile's compact size and air launch design will allow it to be carried by a wide range of aircraft, including bombers, fighters, and potentially even the SR-72 itself. The AGM-183's hypersonic capabilities are made possible by a combination of advanced propulsion technologies, including solid-fuel rocket boosters and scramjet engines. These systems enable the missile to accelerate rapidly and maintain hypersonic speeds throughout its flight profile, while advanced guidance systems ensure exceptional accuracy and maneuverability. The missile's warhead is also being designed to withstand the extreme temperatures and pressures associated with hypersonic flight, ensuring that it can deliver its payload with maximum effectiveness. As we look to the future of hypersonic flight and warfare, the SR-72 and AGM-100 and 83 stand as powerful symbols of the U.S. military's commitment to maintaining technological superiority and strategic advantage. These groundbreaking systems represent a new era in aerospace and defense technology, one in which speed, precision, and agility will be the defining characteristics of military power. The development of the SR-72 and AGM-183 is not without its challenges, however. The extreme speeds and temperatures associated with hypersonic flight pose significant technical hurdles, requiring advances in material science, propulsion technology, and guidance systems. Moreover, the cost and complexity of these systems will require sustained investment and a long-term commitment to research and development. There are also concerns about the potential destabilizing effects of hypersonic weapons, as their speed and unpredictability could increase the risk of miscalculation and escalation in future conflicts. Despite these challenges and concerns, the potential benefits of hypersonic flight and warfare are too significant to ignore. The SR-72 and AGM-183 represent a new frontier in military capabilities, one that will shape the future of conflict and deterrence for decades to come. As we stand on the cusp of this new era, it is clear that the race for hypersonic supremacy will be a defining feature of the 21st century and that the United States is poised to lead the way. However, it is equally clear that we must approach this new frontier with caution and wisdom, working to ensure that the development and deployment of hypersonic technologies serve to enhance global security and stability rather than undermine it.